What's up, YouTube? That guy again. Just here to send a special me uh, a special message to conspiracy cats. I'm about to prove you wrong, so we'll see if you have honesty and any self-respect. And we'll see if you'll take down your channel. No, I won't take my channel down. Conspiracy cats, listen, this is for you. You insufferable moron. What? You need to take down your channel. Um, no. Hello, it's me again. Anyway, I just popped over to say I expect you should take your channel down today because I'm a scientific heavyweight and I've just destroyed you. But I bet you won't take it down because you're just a lying coward. Right. It seems, whether we want one or not, we're going to get another science lesson from Flat Earth YouTuber, that guy. We're here to explain science. Mass is identical to weight, but this mass, this weight, is space weight. We know we have frequency in the atmosphere. I don't need to do the fucking calculations and use real math, do I? Science. Oh, sorry, pal. Only me. Um, listen, bad news, I'm afraid. I really, really tried to get you some of those My Little Pony tickets for the, the live show tomorrow, but they were all sold out. I couldn't get my hands on any of them. I'm sorry, pal. All right, mate. Cheers, bud. Cheers, bud. Bye. So obviously people missed what I was seeing there. For fuck's sake. Me again? Yeah, some just come available. Front row seats. Yay! <laughs> Bless him. Anyway, let's find out why YouTube flat earther that guy thinks I should take my channel down. You have told me many times that there's only a 14.7 PSI pressure differential between the surface of Earth and space. You say a car tire is handling a bigger pressure differential than the surface of Earth and space. Well, yeah, on the surface of the Earth, we have an air pressure of 14.7 PSI and the vacuum of space is zero, so that's the difference of 14.7. But most car tires are at least 30 PSI, which means we've got a difference of over 15 PSI between inside a car tire and the air uh, directly outside it. So, what's the problem? Apart from the obvious. 14.7 PSI to zero PSI is atmospheric pressure. Only deals with the atmosphere. You seem to think zero PSI atmospheric is absolute zero. Fail. Right, I remember now, you see our friend that guy doesn't understand that the lowest pressure you can have is zero. He thinks that negative pressure is a real thing. Don't you buddy? There is such thing as negative pressure. So let's summarise the situation so far in what will probably be my easiest debunk ever. You see, our friend that guy thinks I should delete my channel because either A, I'm lying about atmospheric pressure, or B, I just don't understand it. When in reality, he's got the term vacuum pressure confused with just simple pressure inside a vacuum. Let me show you what I mean. If I've got a container, and inside the container we have a pressure of 4.7 PSI, and outside the container we have 14.7 PSI, then there is a difference of 10 PSI. It's 10 PSI less in the can than on the outside, and we will call that a vacuum pressure of minus 10. It doesn't mean that vacuums have a negative pressure, it's just a relative term. And it really is that simple. Our friend, that guy, has heard the term vacuum pressure, completely misunderstood it, and applied it in a way that only a flat earther could. But to celebrate him now, coming out of the darkness, into the light, and learning the truth, please welcome that guy with his debut single, Atmospheric. 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 You insufferable moron. Conspiracy cats. I'm about to prove you wrong. Come on. Conspiracy cats. I'm about to prove you wrong. Balls. This weight. This weight. This weight is space weight. Come on. You seem to think... I need to go back to school. Atmospheric. 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 You insufferable moron. 
You need to take down your channel. And you need to take it down today. This weight is space weight. Chances are you won't because you're a lying coward. You insufferable moron. You don't even understand the basic science. Learn the difference between atmospheric and absolute zero. I hope we've learned something today. Incredible. Um, that guy, would you like to sign off using your usual catchphrase? How does it go? Um, exposing the globe tard, exposing the shill. Okay, but you only get one shot. Do not mess it up. Off you go. Exposing the globe tard, exposing, exposing the shill. Oh, lucky man, nearly. That's performance pressure for you. Anyway, um, what have I got here? Conspiracy cats. Your videos are amazing. Well, thanks, fellas. So are yours. Just for slightly different reasons. Anyway, I can't seem to get this idea of negative pressure out of my head. Um, I wonder what the people of the internet think about it. What's up, conspiracy cats? How are you doing? Yep, that's right. It's Ask the Internet time again. And here's a question. Hello. My friend thinks vacuums are our zones of negative pressure. Space, comma. Should I disown him? Conspiracy cats, my friend thinks vacuums are a zone of negative pressure. Should I disown him? He's been a bit kind about my poor grammar. Like literal vacuums, or are we speaking uh, hypothetically? And you know what? I really thought I was going to get a really good answer from this guy. And then he totally let me down. Conspiracy cats, literal vacuum. He thinks space is negative pressure. I don't know. I'm not a scientist, but vacuums, I prefer a Dyson vacuum. They're the most expensive, but they are the best. What's up, Anthony Jenkins? Let's get some comments. Maybe tomorrow I want to settle down. Until tomorrow, the whole world is my home. Right, so I wonder who my first comment of the week might be from. Hello, it's me again. I'm Angelina Jolie, and I've just popped round to say, how many times do I have to own you? For flip's sake, I've already destroyed you. Anyway... High pressure moves to low pressure. Game over, Globe Todd. Right, now we all agree that an area of high pressure will move to an area of low pressure unless acted on by some sort of force. But when asked why his post was relevant by fellow YouTuber Throwaway AV Clubber, our friend that guy seemed to forget what side he was on. Oh, I'll tell you why it's relevant, shall I? Because it debunks gravity. And it debunks gravity because high pressure moves to low pressure. And if gravity was real then the high pressure wouldn't move to lower pressure. Gravity would hold it in place. Oh, hang on. That is what we see, though, isn't it? The high pressure near the ground and the lower pressure higher up. And they don't... Oh, shit. I think... Oh, I'm going to go now. Absolutely amazing. Anyway, no surprises for guessing who our next comment's from. Actually, it is a surprise. It's me, Shelley, and I'm just here to say, bum boy, or, sorry, bum boy? Because I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really sure if you are. Wow, that was a surprise, actually. Uh, next. Hello, it's me again. I'm the candlestick from Beauty and the Beast. And I've just come to tell you that despite this being the 57th post I've posted on your channel this week, and 57 times people have actually told me the right answer, I'm here to show you that I've learned absolutely nothing. But by the way, when you get the basics of science down, we can have an honest discussion then. You know, that guy's been spamming my comment section so much over the past week, he's going to end up like our old friend, Susan Boyle. Now, for those of you who are regular viewers, you'll know that Susan Boyle sends me that many messages that he now automatically ends up in my spam filter. And it seems like he's getting rather lonely there. Hello? Am I all alone here? Have you forgotten how the reply button works? Hello? Oh... Now, I do actually have a comments video coming out in a day or two, so I'm not going to do too many comments here, but I have got time for this. Ladies and gentlemen, the best space comment of the week. Space comment. Well, welcome to a new segment, and thank you very, very much, Daryl, for the intro video that you made for me for this. Um, so let's get started. Who are the contenders for the best use of space comma this week? Hello, my name's David, and I've got a little trick to win this competition. Are you ready? Show your plastic toy globe to be practically demonstratable. Space, comma, comma, space, exclamation mark. Yeah, two space commas and a space, exclamation mark. Nobody can beat that. I win, you lose. Give me my prize now. 
David, that was absolutely excellent. I'm sure somebody somewhere is extremely proud of you. But unfortunately this week, you've only made second place. You see, our winner comes from an account which is definitely not a fake account from Dell from Beyond the Imaginary Curve, is it? Now this poster seems very, very upset with me because the last time I was on Dell's chat watching one of his videos, I didn't immediately drop everything I was doing with my family and jump on and join him in a hangout. But maybe winning this competition will cheer the guy up. Let's have a look at his post. Okay, we go. I just want to say a few thank yous for my prize before I start. I want to thank all my teachers at school that didn't teach me proper punctuation. I want to thank all the people that I work with for putting up with me. Um, here we go. Conspiracy Cats. So you were busy with family and writing in the chat at the same time. Space comma. That's the first one. Come on, man. You're translucent. Space full stop. He can do a space exclamation. I'm put a full stop in. Anyway, he doesn't email future guests. Space comma. That's my second one. Yeah, we're on a roll now. Uh, if you want to go on the platform, all you need to do is send an email and he'll send you the link easy. I don't know what a link easy is, but he will send it to you. Uh, anyway, um, stop being deceptive and man up, dude. Space, comma, he only wants a chat. No, full stop. Yeah. And finally, in other news, I met up with this guy this week. Yes, the one and only Simon Dan, who took a selfie of us and posted it out on his Twitter account and his YouTube account. Now, I've been away for a week, so I've not had time to check the comments, but I really can't wait to see what his subscribers have got to say about me. Let's have a look. Nope. Absolutely no idea who the hell that is. Hmm. Well, that, that's okay. Let's let's try the next one. Nope. I'm sorry, Simon Dan, but, uh, yeah, absolutely clueless. No idea who that potato face is. Just one more. I've got it. It's Phil Collins. There is such thing as negative pressure. <coughs> there is frequency in the atmosphere. If you put that vacuum chamber to 10 to the negative six tor and poked a hole this big, it would suck a human body through there. Why does it fall down? Because down is down and up is up. Gravity damn sure doesn't explain this. The Cavendish experiment was lead balls attracting lead balls. That's not science. That just means lead can attract lead. Cats, cats, conspiracy cats. No one quite like him to flatten the flats. So come feel the vibe. Like